Glory be to God. Success Opportunity is the title of our message for today. This is African Broadcasting Network, Eagles Devotional. You are tuned to a life transforming station, a life transforming program that will indeed bless you real good all the days of your life. Again, like I said earlier on, we are looking at a message that God by Himself has prepared for you and I. You that took the time to connect to this station, to this program, Eagles Devotional, the Spirit of the Lord is saying, Success Opportunity is the message I want you to hear, you know, this given day, this, you know, second day of the month of July 2021. This is part one of this message. I'd like to quickly have part one. God helping us tomorrow to look at the part two of this message. Success Opportunity. Success Opportunity is a compound word, but it's heavily loaded. And I believe it will bless you. As I said, it is the part one of the message. You will enjoy it, let alone the part two of it. But let's quickly turn our Bibles to the book of Luke chapter 24, verse 45. Luke chapter 24, verse 20, verse 45. Then open ye their understanding, that they might understand the scripture. <laughs> this is talking about Jesus. He opens their understanding that they might understand the scripture, the word of the Lord. The entrance of the word of the Lord giveth light and giveth understanding. And Daniel chapter 11 verse 32 he said, As many that do know their God, if you must know God, you must understand the word of the Lord. Have a sound understanding, now, you know, a serious analysis of the word of the Lord, so that you can do exploit for him. Dearly beloved, can we please progress as we look into the commentary that God by Himself, that heaven has prepared by the mouth of our Father in the Lord. Papa says, and he's still saying to you and I, that Jesus Christ opened the understanding of his disciples. In the same way, something will happen supernaturally to open your understanding right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I thought I would hear a resounding name. Jesus opened the understanding of his disciples, and Papa is decreeing, you know, is declaring by that ecclesiastical authority given to him from on high that you, your own understanding, will be opened in the name of Jesus. If there's anything that has blocked your understanding, Papa has already declared as a servant, as God's speed marshal in the gospel, that indeed you will experience the supernatural opening of your understanding right now in the name of Jesus. Hear the word of the Lord. You could not pass your exam before, before, but you will pass your exam at your next attempt. For those who have you know, done examinations before and probably you had some challenges passing the exam, the word of the Lord has come that indeed as you make attempt to write that exam again, you will indeed come out with tremendous success in the name of Jesus. Papa says you just must pass the exam at your next attempt in the name of Jesus. Could it be that your promotion has been delayed unjustifiably for many years? The word of the Lord is coming your way again. Papa is saying, and Papa is praying for you, that God will open your understanding to receive your promotion now in the name of Jesus. Could it be that the employment you have been expecting has been, you know, to be offered, that business you have been dreaming of, has also been, you know, locked up somewhere, and the word of the Lord is coming your way. That that employment you have been expecting, you know, has been offered to you already. That business you have been dreaming of, you know, dreaming about, has become a reality. Hallelujah. Father, we just thank you for making that job a reality for that man, that woman. Oh, for making the business a reality in the life of that man, that woman, that is trusting you for something and, and offer from your throne. Because you have released it by the mouth of your servant, our anointed father, Papa Hayoriche Jacob. So shall it be in the life of that man, that woman, that boy that is watching this telecast, that girl, in the name of Jesus. Papa said he wants to share a little experience with us. Let me share with you once again my experience in Lagos some time ago. I went to an office to get something very important which I needed urgently. I went to the lady in charge and told her about it. 
You know what she said? She looked at me and said, You have all the requirements, but I will not give you what you are requesting. I was surprised. So I asked her, If I have met her before, and she said, No. Papa said, She went, trying to get something very, very important. The lady in charge, you know, turned him down. Papa was wondering why. Papa said he asked her if he had met her before, and the lady said no. I mean, and of course, naturally, you wonder what could be responsible for this uh, rejection and of course, turning down uh, his request. Welcome to the headquarters of the International Gospel Center, Word of Life Bible Church, a place of wonder. A place of grace. A place of favor. A place of greatness. A place of solution. And a place of God's glory. A family to belong. We don't only care about your soul, we care about your total well-being. We urge you to be a part of this glorious, heaven-bound, blessing on earth family. Word of Life Bible Church. Bigger, stronger, and bolder. God loves you, and so do we. So Papa goes on to say that, so I asked Father why she wouldn't give me what I was asking for. She insisted that she just wouldn't give it to me. Uh -huh. The people that were around us were so were surprised at the way the lady treated me. However, I turned in I, I turned in annoyance and decided to leave the place as calmly as I could. As I approached the gate of the premises, the gate man said to me, Sir, can I talk to you? Like I said earlier on at the beginning that this is part one of this message, success opportunity, part one. By the grace of God, by the grace of the living of the Almighty, we shall continue with the part two of this message tomorrow. However, again, the message is titled success opportunity. And of course, we'll be looking at the understanding that you need to accomplish success or to make sure that opportunity is not eluded or does not elude you. That is why the declarations that our Father and the Lord has made in this broadcast, in this message today, as it relates to your promotion, as it relates to that business, that employment that you are believing God for, that exam that you know you're trusting God that you want to of course pass word of the Lord has gone for them. There shall be no more delay. There shall be no misunderstanding. Every declaration that our Father and the Lord has made every day will work for you. Will work for your family. Will work for that man, that person that has deemed it necessary to connect with this station, to connect with this program, Eagles Devotion, on the second day of July 2021 in the name of Jesus. Again, the Lord has asked to pronounce his blessings on you. Do not take it for you. Success opportunities are yours. They are indeed yours. Because you connected with this program. Papa was able to use it in order, not mine. The rejection was able to calm himself and let me see. So, we continue to pass God's message to me. God, if you know, you will hear the concluding part.
Jesus opened his mouth and blessed his disciples. Papa Ayo Jeho has also opened his mouth and blessed you today that indeed you will have understanding. Yes, he said in the same way something will happen supernaturally to open your understanding right now in the name of Jesus. In the same way, something will happen supernaturally to open your understanding. So that the success of what you need to you are believing God for whether it's in your promotion, whether it's in your job, whether it's in your business, in your academics, name it, whatever you're trusting God for will be a reality. God bless you. Thank you for tuning in. But I will not let you go until we look at the words of wisdom together. The words of wisdom says, some things happen to supernaturally open your understanding. Certain things happen if you permit me to have. And the whole idea is to supernaturally open your understanding. So dearly beloved, when certain things happen supernaturally, the hand of the Lord might be upon it. It is to open your understanding. May the good Lord indeed allow things that will supernaturally or that will lead to, you know, your understanding being opened supernaturally in the name of Jesus. I will encourage you also to take up your Bible and read the book of Proverbs chapter 13. Read verse 15. But like I will always say, if you decide to read the whole of chapter 13, even the whole book of Proverbs, it will not kill you. It will not harm you. It will bless you real good. Yes. God's word is the mind of God, is the will of God. Like we established earlier on in the book of 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16. That God's word is for instruction, is for reproof unto righteousness. Righteousness, right standing, and right standing with God. So the word of the Lord will do you good. So if you will read the whole book of Proverbs, you read the whole of chapter 13 or the entire book of Proverbs, the whole Bible, it will bless you. Again, I will still not let you go until we pray together. Yes, we need to pray together. I need to put this bad on your head as we talk to God. Prayer in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, help me to hold on to my success opportunity now in Jesus. Christ. My Father, my Father, I pray for that man, I pray for that woman, I pray for that boy, that girl, that child to hold on to the success opportunity that he or she has. A oh my Father, ah, let that success opportunity not elude that man. The word of the Lord came. Your word came by the mouth of your servant of Iron that in that same way that Jesus opened the understanding of himself, the Papa said something supernaturally will happen. Yes, to open our understanding. Yes, the understanding of that man, that woman has been supernaturally opened. Oh Lord, help me. Help that woman. Help that boy. Help that girl. Help him. Oh Lord, to indeed hold on to success opportunity now and forevermore. In Jesus' name, Amen. God bless you. Thank you for tuning in. It's been a pleasure having you on this you know, program, Eagles Devotional, and of course, African Broadcasting uh, Network, your favorite station. God bless you. See you tomorrow. And of course, always, on behalf of our spiritual friends, thank you for tuning in. God bless you. In Jesus' name.